Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Ultra drop down button control that's part of NanoVanish for Windows Forms product. Now in your application sometimes you have a scenario where you want to either show or display uh, a lot more information but the screen's real estate is, uh, is limited. Or at other times you want to grab information from the user and um, and run into the same situation where um, you do, you cannot put a lot of input boxes onto the main form because the other information uh, needed for the form to display is more important. So you go into scenarios where you have uh, a pop-up windows coming up, uh, uh, doing the work to uh, to not pollute the main window, but still be able to uh, have the application workflow uh, be intact. And also, drop-down control fits in the same scenario where um, it's. Um, it's a control that is just a button onto the form, but it can host other controls in itself. So, so it's re less real estate onto the main form, but it gives you more uh, functionality um, by giving the, you the drop down uh, control container. So, let me come down to my toolbox and drop the ultra drop down button onto my form. And you can see that it just looks like a button with a drop down um, um, image here. Let the user know that it can do more. Now, in order for this to work, you actually need the host control itself. So, for example, what we're going to do is, uh, when the user clicks on this, it will show a tree control. So, I'm going to come down to uh, my toolbox and just drag and drop a tree control. And just to kind of show you an example, I'm just going to come down to my nodes collection and just add some some nodes, just random nodes. Um, so that we have some sort of example to work off of. So we have some a big tree uh, which which has some information, and it, as you can see, that's going to take a lot of space uh, onto the main form. But actually, we it has to be part of the main form because it has some some interaction uh, uh, key points that is important for this application. So what we're going to do is uh, rather than having this display here and take up spa space on the main screen, we want it to display when the user clicks on the drop down. So, so we have the drop down control, we have the host control. Now one more control we need is the Ultra Toolbars Manager, which is going to do the magic for us. So um, since we're just using it as a, as a non-visual, I'm not going to add a container onto my form. Um, I'm going to come to a Toolbar Manager and I'm going to right click and say Customize. Once I do that, I'm going to add a tool and the tool type you have to you need to choose here is the pop-up container control or pop-up control container and let's just be call it an add capture to retrieve attach the key to retrieve and just add it here and close this and once I added this pop-up control container I can come down into its properties and uh, say the control that I want to use as a pop-up is the actual tree control so by doing that, what we're doing here is we're actually setting up the toolbar uh, pop-up control to be the tree. So now um, it knows that it has to host this tree control inside of it at runtime. So it's going to take that tree that's onto our main form at runtime, and it's going to put it in its uh, in its um, in its control container. So we're going to close this. Once we're done with that, the final thing we need to do is actually tell our button control that its pop-up item is the toolbar manager's pop-up control container. So we can look for the pop-up item property and here it is. So we can scroll down and you can see that it says the tree also toolbar manager pop-up which is the key that we used. So I'm going to click on that and now everything is hooked up. So the pop drop down control knows that it has to use the uh, pop up menu control from the toolbar manager, and the pop up menu control uh, control container knows that it, it, it needs to host the tree. So now when we run this, well, we have the form with our real state just being taken by this button control. And when it clicks on this drop down, you can see that this tree popped up. And um, now you can they can interact with uh, with, the, with the actual control inside of it. So again, in this example, we use the tree, but uh, but you can pretty much use anything. You can use a panel that hosts other controls inside of it uh, uh, in place here too. And when you click outside, the tree goes away. The user gets a full screen again to work off of. So in this quick example, you saw that you can use the um, ultra drop down button control 
to uh, save real estate on your main screen and uh, when the user clicks on it you get a drop down where you can host any uh, controls that you want thanks for watching this video Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com